My name is Darian Borello and we are lifting legs today. Today's workout will be fueled by Total War, Grunt, and Mob. So my leg training is very intense. It's heavier than I've ever trained legs in my fitness career. I've been a pro since 2012, and I kind of jumped into the girl fad that you needed to do plyos and lift like a princess and do all sorts of fancy things. While fancy things are great, um, I really found this year that more of the hardcore, old school, very simple bodybuilding movements have done wonders to transform my legs. Leg day always consists of starting off with leg extensions to get tons of blood pumping into my quads. My quads are really an area I've worked to bring up. My husband Aaron designs my leg workouts. They're half torture, but they've really improved the whole look of my legs. So after I do a couple sets of leg extensions. I usually move into more of a compound movement that hits all parts of my legs. I tend to go very heavy when I do that movement to push, again, as much blood into the muscle as possible so we can really break down those fibers to get the muscles to grow. Then I usually follow two to three different, more isometric movements to work smaller muscle groups within the leg. So directly hit the hamstring, directly hit the quad, isolate the glute, something like that. I incorporate cardio throughout my whole prep. At the beginning of prep, I start at about 20 minutes, five days a week. As I get closer to a show, I increase the cardio, I increase the intensity of the cardio to help bring down my body fat percentage. Fitness really is a lifestyle. My husband and I live it, breathe it, whether we're four weeks out from a show or there's no show in our sight. We believe that it's important to not only look like we are fit and in shape, but to be healthy and in shape purely for longevity, for activity, for heart health, muscle health. For women, it is so great to lift heavy to make sure you don't end up with osteoporosis. The intensities vary. The amount of cardio I do will vary for sure, depending on what my goals are but I very firmly believe in an active fit lifestyle. When I started prepping for this competition, I believe in slow incremental changes over longer periods of time to get good consistent results. We evaluate my body, we evaluate my progress, we decide what we think the best course of action is to get a step closer to the goal. Sometimes it's adding cardio, sometimes it's cutting out some carbs, sometimes it's a carb cycle. It depends on how my body responds from the week prior. And the biggest thing I've learned in this journey uh, through fitness is your body's always changing. What works one year might not work the next year. What works terribly for you one year might give great results the next. Um, your body is really just one big puzzle and it's always changing. And it's important to be flexible enough to vary what you've done in the past to see different results. My name is Darian Borello. I invite you to join me on my journey to the 2018 Fitness Olympia.